All right, welcome back. Um, we are going to talk now about points of finite order um, over, over local fields. So here's what I want to prove. I think I'm going to um, skip the proof today and then prove it next time. Uh, it's uh, the following. So let E over K be an elliptic curve and M big or equal to one, an integer uh, relatively prime to uh, P, the characteristic of your residue field. Then uh, two things are true. First of all, uh, the subgroup E1K has uh, no non-trivial uh, points of order M. And uh, second, B, if the reduced curve um, E twiddle over K is uh, non-singular, then uh, the reduction map um, that sends the points of order M to points over the finite field or the residue field is injective. Okay? You might want to think already with what we just saw uh, about uh, the formal group and uh, that exact sequence, we proved why this is true. So you can just come up with the uh, uh, proof in your head. Um, but let me just give an example, a couple of examples of why this is really interesting. So um, what I'm really interested, um, I'm really interested in is this piece that the M torsion embeds in the finite field uh, or over the recursive field when the elliptic curve is not singular and when M is prime to the characteristic where you are uh, going to. So here is an example of how uh, this is used. So we are going to, even though this is an, an example about, or that statement is about local fields, we want to apply this to elliptic curves over Q. So I'm going to take an elliptic curve over Q that is going to be Y squared equals X cubed plus three, okay? And uh, what I want to do is find all of the torsion subgroup that is defined over Q. Okay, so for the first time, we're going to be able to compute uh, a piece of the Mordelve group, which is the torsion subgroup. Okay, so here is uh, what you need to know. First of all, what is, um, if we're going to use local methods, I need a minimal value stress model. So what is the discriminant of this model? is uh, minus 3,888, which is minus two to the four times three to the five. So we know that it's actually uh, two things. Uh, e, so this tells me two things. E over QP is minimal for all primes P, right, because they power of two, three, or any other prime is less than 12, and we have integer coefficients. And um, second, uh, it also tells me that the reduction for two and three, I might, uh, will have problems, but uh, this is non-singular for P bigger or equal to five prime. Okay, fantastic. So let me see what happens at P equals five. In particular, at P equals five, uh, the reduction over F5 uh, has the following points. I've calculated and it has the point at infinity and then the points uh, one, two, one, three, two, one, two, four, and three, O. Oh. Okay, so uh, the number of points is uh, the number of points over F5 is six. 
there are exactly six points. I'm going to do another calculation, which is for P equals seven. I'm going to do the same thing. And it turns out that uh, the number of points over F7 is 13. Okay, so what does this tell me? Um, now, uh, the previous proposition, so uh, that is the key, is that the proposition implies that uh, for primes that are where there is a good reduction, okay, so uh, for primes where there is a good reduction, that map from prime to P torsion down to the rest of the field, that map is injective. So it tells me the following facts. Uh, it tells me that if uh, Q is not five or seven, then the Q torsion would embed in F5 or in F7, right, on the points over F5 or the point over F7, and therefore um, the number of points of uh, the Q torsion, by the way, it's even stronger that the number of Q uh, of uh, uh, the number of piatic points, but the what I'm using here is that um, this is uh, embedded in here, right? The, the rational points are embedded in here. So um, in particular, the number of points over Q, uh, the points defined over Q are containing the points defined over QP, okay? So the number of points of order Q divide, this divides six and 13, depending if like, if I try to embed it into the number of points the, on the group of points over F5, then it tells me to divide six. If I embed it in the group of points uh, mod seven, then it tells me to divide 13. And therefore, if it divides six and 13, it has to be one. So there are no, there is no Q torsion. There is no point of order five or seven. Okay, so no Q torsion. Over, um, over Q. Great. Uh, what else? Now, uh, when Q is five, I can't embed the Q torsion in the, I cannot embed the five torsion into the, uh, points mod five, but I can embed it in the mo points mod seven. This tells me then that the number of points uh, of five torsion now uh, divides 13, but the number of points, um, but the number of points is either uh, one, or remember that the structure of that group is Z mod five cross Z mod five over the algebraic closure. So it's either one or five or 25. There's either one point, there's no points, one point, or there's one point, the point at infinity, there's five points, or you have the full five torsion, which is 25. Uh, and none of those divide 13, unless it's one. So the number of points, must be one. So there is no five torsion. Over Q. And similarly, when Q is seven, uh, the number of points uh, divides six, but that number has to be one, seven or 49. Uh, so it must be one. Uh, so, uh, no seven torsion over um, over Q either. Um, but then there there is no torsion. Okay, so this tells me 
uh, there is no, if there is torsion, there's going to be some P prime uh, torsion, but there is no prime torsion at all. So this tells me that uh, the entire torsion subgroup is just trivial. Okay. However, there is a point here. Do you see a point, a rational point? There is a rational point. One plus three is four, which is two a square. Uh, however, oops. One comma two is on E. It is not a torsion point because there is no torsion. So it must be of infinite order. Uh, so that proves that this is an infinite group and there is at least one generator. Okay, so the rank is at least one for this elliptic curve. And this is the first time where we've actually proved two things. We've computed an entire torsion subgroup and we've proved that there are infinitely many solutions to this elliptic curve or a Q um, using local techniques. We've used all these, uh, this theorem um, that relies on the proof on the work we've been uh, just um, chugging along on uh, formal groups finally is starting to uh, pan out. Okay, so next time I will prove uh, that uh, these results uh, that I started with and then uh, keep going uh, to prove even a little farther about um, the integrality of, uh, of integer of um, the integrality of point of finite order. Okay, so I'll stop there.